Frente de Esports Center at the Imperial Valley Press, and I'm sitting here with Ross Rubio, Steven Baeza, and Andrew Ortiz of the Raleigh Union High School football team, who on Friday beat the Imperial Tigers 35-8 to in an Imperial Valley League game that many have called the Game of the Year. Um, guys, congratulations on the win, and thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, Ross, uh, you're the quarterback, senior, 18 years old. Tell us about uh, last night's game, Friday's game. Um, well, it was it was a pretty big game because well, I mean they're calling it the game of the year. So if we just wanted to go out there and perform well, and we wanted to walk out of there with the victory. Steven, um, tell us uh, what kind of a game were you expecting Friday night? Uh, were you expecting a thirty-five to eight uh, blowout or much much closer? I was thinking it was gonna be much closer. What um, did it surprise you that uh, you know you guys won so easily, so handily? Yeah. Andrew, um, you guys are seven and one yes. overall, three and zero league with the uh, Friday's win. Is this where you guys expected to be at this point in the season? Yeah, we knew we had a young team at first, so we had a tough game at Hoover, but I felt like that made us a lot stronger. So, I mean, I feel like we're progressing pretty much every week, and now coming league, we just we're playing at at a high level right now. So, I f I feel good where we're at. On Friday night, they were calling you Beast Mode. <laughs> Everybody was chanting your name. Uh, what was that like? The whole stadium on your side just yelling beast mode. Yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, the, a lot of the student, students in the student section, they were chanting. And it feels good. Um, it's, it's something that they've been calling you all season. Tell us a little bit about how that started. Yeah, just, well, um, Ross's dad was kind of the first one to call me that. Mm -hmm. And so, like, then my teammates started calling me that, but now kind of, like, more, more of the school. So not just football, it's kind of... So now everybody's knowing you as a beast mode. Yeah, around campus. <laughs> <laughs> um, you still have you guys still have two more league games left, one against Palo Verde and one the annual Bell game. Ross, tell us about that game against Palo Verde. How important is that to win that in Glide? Oh, well, you know, it's, pr it's going to be pretty important for us to go out there and perform well, not go out flat, you know. We don't want to have a letdown after a big game, and... Um, we don't want to come out flat because it's a pretty long trip over there. And we just want to go out there and perform our very best like we try to do every week. Steven, uh, you guys are now 3-0 and in IVL and in the driver's seat. Give me your thoughts on what it feels like to be a top. It feels good. We're going to keep working hard and hopefully we're going to win these next two games. Andrew, two weeks from, from now you guys will be playing in the annual Bell game, which you guys have currently have. Um, how big is that game going to be for you since you're a senior, you know, of last Bell game? Yeah, it's real big just us being seniors. We don't want to lose the Bell, and especially being at home. We don't want to disappoint our home crowd, so we're going to come out and just play Broly football and hopefully keep the Bell. Ross, I know, you know there's still a couple of weeks left, but with this win, you guys are probably already maybe in the, secured in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, all that's need to be decided is your ranking and who you're play, facing in the first <coughs> round. Give us your thought about the playoffs and what you guys hope to accomplish there. Well, no matter what, what ranking we get or what seed we get, um, you know, we all play football for a reason. And the ultimate goal is to, you know, win a championship. We all we all want to win every single game that we play in. And we're going to carry that attitude into the playoffs. And hopefully we can win every game we play in, in the playoffs because that's what our goal is. Steven, uh, you're also senior this year, obviously. Yes. Your, uh, your thoughts on how you want your Wildcats to uh, end the season? I want to hopefully win a CIF championship this year for football. Cool. Um, so now we're going to play a little word association. I, I think you guys have played it before. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, so, Ross, we'll start with you. Um, All right. Beast mode. <laughs> Andrew Ortiz. <laughs> That's what comes to mind. How, uh, how crucial has he been to your running game this year? Andrew's been crucial to everything we do as a team. You know, he, he gives it all he has week in and week out. He plays both ways and he hard, hardly ever comes out um, you know I think he's out for like one special teams and he runs hard from the very beginning of the game to the very end of the game you know if we need a couple yards we can definitely rely on Andrew and he's the defensive captain and he just you know Andrew does his job week in and week out very good all right Andrew um, give us your thoughts on uh, Ross Ruby mm, well the leader of our offense and the team um, he's a leader. He leads by example, and not just by example. He leads with his voice, like vocally. So he pushes everyone to be be at their best, and 
whenever we're out of line or something like that, he's always there to put us back. So, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, what do you think of Ross? <laughs> Ross's running style? Uh, um, he just every time he gets the ball, he's gonna. We know he's gonna run his hardest no matter what, and he's gonna take on a lot of tackles. I mean, he takes shots, but he gets right back up and leads our offense down the field. Ross, uh, tell us what you think. Um, the ball game. The ball game, you know, it's a pretty pretty long tradition. You know, um, pretty much every, you know, everyone, you know, you walk around town, you walk around school the week of the bell game, and, you know, everyone's telling you, you know, make sure you beat El Centro. People are telling you, you don't even know, they're telling you, you know, make sure you guys keep the bell. And, um, you know, it's our senior year. We performed well last year in the bell game. And we want to go out our senior year very well in the bell game. And that's our plan. Andrew, uh, Central. Well, biggest, well, right now, biggest games. Um, obviously, the bell game. So, it's at home, so we can't lose this game. So we know we're going to get their best shot, so we just got to come out. Just dominate, dominate them. Steven, uh, classify your season. I want to go undefeated in the league. And go deep in the playoffs. And hopefully, win a CAF championship. And now the last one for all three of you guys, uh, Coach Self. <laughs> um, Coach Self, you know he's he's a good coach. He's a pretty good guy too. We all like him, and uh, we feel like he likes all of us. You know, he he can have he can be mad sometimes, but you know that's how you need to be as a coach. And I I feel like Coach Self's a very good coach, and he does a good job of getting us ready to play week in and week out. Anybody add one? Want to add anything else? Pretty much what he said. I'm a great coach, I'm a great defensive coordinator, putting us in the best positions and always pushing us to do our best practice, whether it's practice, just lifting, whatever it is, always on us to do our best. I mean, yeah, pretty much so. Do you guys uh, have any plans for after high school? Anything? Any colleges knocking on your door or anything? Anybody? Nothing so far? Um, I don't I don't have anything specific planned. You know, if I can continue playing football, then I'll probably take that opportunity. But if not, you know, I don't I don't, I really don't have anything planned as of right now. Steven, I don't have anything planned about playing football after high school. Andrew, I would like to play college football, but we'll see how this season goes. Just trying to focus on probably football right now. It's right. not really the future. Cool. Well, guys, again, congratulations on Friday night's win, and good luck to you the rest of the season, including the Belgian. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you for having us.